You know what sucks? Getting stabbed. How do you survive in a knife fight? How about we learn from the Mission Impossible and Born series? Ooh, that was almost my neck. Welcome back to The Fighting Show. Today, we're gonna talk about how to survive in a knife fight. <laughs> nice. That's a knife. So to learn about knife fights, we're gonna be talking about my man Ethan Hunt in Mission Impossible 2, and my man Jason Bourne in The Bourne Supremacy. Is that a knife? Is that a real knife? Yes, it's a real knife. My weakness, it's small knives. Let's take a look at these two films and the key elements, the tactics, the physical attributes that are required when you're defending against a knife. Uh, so Ethan's fighting with Sean in Mission Impossible 2, and things are just fisticuff brawl, and then all of a sudden, boom, surprise knife. And that's when things get a little spicy. He gets slashed on the face, stabbed in the back, then kicked in the stab wound. All right, so let's kick off a few of the key elements in this scene. How is Ethan defending himself? Well, I mean, he was very surprised by the reveal of the knife, and he got cut right away. So it's a weapon that is very hard to defend against because it is so elusive, and, and a trained fighter can do a lot of damage. That's one thing about the knife. Want to keep that concealed until you actually use it and not reveal it, and uh, I still can see it. It's different than um, fighting empty hands because a knife can be uh, stabbing and cutting at the same time as it's withdrawing or it's or it's attacking. In the end, Ethan does disarm Sean. So can you walk me through the technique he uses? We call it a strip disarm. You know, you use the leverage of, of one and you go in the direction of the of the fingers being yeah. open. Doing a strip disarm, you have to be aware of the edge yeah. and not sort of grab the edge weapon. So what does it take to kind of avoid being cut or stabbed while fighting someone with a knife? So some of the key elements in order to defend yourself against the knife, heightened awareness, great eye-hand coordination, good footwork, knowing your environment, knowing what's around the environment. If it's a double-edged weapon, single-edged weapon, how long it is, how heavy it is, all these come into play of knowing how the knife is manipulated. Be careful, you might get stabbed. You see in the scene where he's trying to control the weapon, he's evading the weapon, he's angling, he's quite aware of the situation and, and being able to keep a certain distance, but he's also trying to set the guy up to disarm the knife and neutralize his opponent. You give the knife right back to him. So we're gonna go jump over to Born Supremacy where we go indoors and they're inside of an apartment and this fight it's less of a surprise knife, you know. Whoops, look what I found. So Born does something different. Instead of trying to disarm, he just goes ahead and uses a magazine. So Born is indoors, grabs a magazine, and rolls it up too. So, I mean, most people wouldn't think a magazine would be a weapon, but it can be a very good weapon. A jacket, a magazine, a newspaper, another object, uh, you know, candle, labra, any, anything yeah. that's, that's around that can give you some extension and still do some damage to the other person. That's why I have so many candelabras in my house, just in case there's a surprise knife fight, just knock it out your hand. So what are the key elements of this fight scene with Jason Bourne? Jason is going hand to hand uh, against another Treadstone operative. So he needs to uh, find something to help neutralize the situation or at least equal the situation when he pulls a knife on him. So the magazine is used as a tool to hit his opponent or try and disarm his opponent and also do damage. Using angulation, he's using uh, his left hand a lot to defend and deflect his opponent and control and have the sensitivity to be aware of where his opponent's at, knowing how the knife is manipulated. And when he has the magazine, it's it's also similar to having a small club. So it's you can use it for different ranges. It can be a little on the outside, it can be used in close range. It could be used to hit soft tissue areas to nullify his ability to move and also to hit and break joints. When you roll that magazine up, it's almost like getting hit with a pipe. It's very uh, surprising what, what a rolled up magazine can do. You do a lot, you know. My mom taught me that. I think we saw two very different ways to defend ourselves against the knife with both Jason Bourne and Ethan Hunt, is that correct? Yes, definitely. Ethan was very surprised by the knife 
and he was able to neutralize it, take the knife away eventually, and throw the knife as a diversion to take the advantage to take his opponent down. And Jason Bourne, he was semi-surprised. The other Treadstone agent grabbed the knife and turned around, so he sort of could see it coming. He had to defend against it empty-handed also, but found an object to neutralize and make it an equal playing field. He was able to defend against the knife, which is a very elusive weapon. All those things are very important in order to understand and be able to confidently defend against the knife. All right, well, there you have it. Where can people find you? They can find me at Stunts Unlimited, through Stunts Unlimited, or here at the Inasano Academy. Awesome, and you know you can find me at Ify Wadiway on Twitter and Instagram, Ifties on Twitch, and, you know, pretty much right here Fridays on Gamma Ray talking about the fighting show. So come back, share, let's fight!